As I wrap up my term, the most important task that I had to deal with had to do with personnel changes in the Biophysical Society office. Our executive director, who led the office for 20 years, Ro Campman, announced her retirement. So we had to initiate a search, a selection, and hiring of a new executive officer. And I have to say, I'm very pleased that we succeeded in fulfilling that task and we now have an executive officer since January 1, Jennifer Passinelli, and she will lead us into the future from this year onwards. Another important step we took is that we augmented our way we do outreach and how we communicate to the public. We hired a new person, Sean Winkler, who is the head of our advocacy group. And we have launched a number of new programs that help us to reach out to the broader community and explain what biophysics is about and make the term biophysics known almost everywhere. For example, we instituted advocacy days and this month we actually have members of the Biophysical Society meet with state representatives, for instance in Maryland and Massachusetts, and they will discuss with them the importance of biophysics and biophysical research. So we're reaching out to members of the non-scientific community to make sure that everybody knows about us. These were all very important tasks, but what I'm most proud of is that we dropped the term national from our annual lecturer. It's now an annual lecturer at the Biophysical Society and this means that we are becoming more and more international. Over one third of our membership is non-US based and I would like this to be even larger. So what is important to achieve a goal to increase that is to have particular programs in place. And what we've done, we started an ambassador program. This ambassador program has biophysical society members in their own country, and they can then use our tools and what we have at, here in the biophysical society organization to foster their goals locally. But what's more important, they bring the international sort of scene close to what is happening over here and this will no doubt help us to become an even more global society. And when it comes to the annual meeting we've always had speakers from over the world present here and when the program gets put together we pay particular attention to have this international representation at the meeting and if you look at the program this week you will see that at least in every session you will have non-US based speakers that will report on their newest results. In my view it is extremely important to attend the meeting because always at the annual meeting of the Biophysical Society we have what are the newest and exciting developments that go on either on the methodological side or in the application field and there is a general feeling of this is where you hear for the first time something that's new in biophysics. In addition, what is really important and that's close to my heart is that this meeting is attended by a lot of young people and it's the students, the postdocs who give talks at platform meetings or who present posters where you can see how this new lifeblood will generate the science of the future and it gives me particular pleasure to go and talk to the students and postdocs and see them talking with each other. Just look at the excitement of the people who are here at the meeting, look what they talk about, just look in corners of the convention center, see them sitting and actually doing their work, collaborating, starting to collaborate or harnessing what they've worked on in, over the past. And I think this is again a very unique situation. You don't get that at many meetings.
If you want to watch more from the Biophysical Society meeting, check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.